Hello, Internet. It's Mike White with 143 Vinyl. So today I'm going to talk about making a design in Inkscape that's super simple as it's just going to be like a website address. And I wanted to make this because a customer asked and rather than just say, you know, she said, can you make that? Can you print that basically with a UV DTF decal? Instead, I wanted to, um, you know, show her exactly how to go about it just in case, you know, she said she's using a Cameo right now and she can only do small designs and she needs to do something bigger. And so I wanted to show off how to do that. So this is going to be a short tutorial. I'm telling myself that. And I'm going to start though by selecting a font. So I've just gone to one of my favorite websites. It's fontspace.com. There's so many great font websites out there. First thing you wanna do is find a font that works. And so let's just, you know, put in an address like a website address in the in the um, well not in the search box sorry I've got titling in my search box let's put our web address right here and I'm gonna put titling in the search box all right so searching and you can just preview all the fonts and you know I don't know that the www is needed these days I mean gosh uh, that's probably all we need now you can, you know, obviously, you know, you could do a lot more than just this, but you know, you can embellish this with different designs. But I think that, you know, just for the purpose of what the customer request is, I'm just gonna show you, find a font that you like. And I like to use the ones that are 100% fee. Some of them say, you know, for um, personal use only. If you check this box, commercial use, then you can count on everything just being these 100% free. I don't think there's any paid on this website I'm not sure about that but you know if there is I hope there is they gotta have a way to make money anyway so just download the font and now I found it in my downloads folder and I on, on Windows now you can just double click and then just double click on the font you don't even need to extract it anymore and so I'm just gonna hit install and I'm doing this with Inkscape closed because I'm gonna open up Inkscape and it's going to load that font in. So I'm just paying attention to my font name was MSMM. So I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm just going to click up here. I'm hitting control A to just select all the text and I'm going to type MSMM and there's my font. Awesome. Okay, great. So I'm going to make an SVG here. So I don't need to worry about the pixel dimensions. I'm going to use the SVG to upload to the layout designer. So I can just go ahead and type my web address. I am gonna do the www.143vinyl.com. All right, and I'm not worried about it being off the screen. I'm gonna actually just drag this to, so I can see a little bit more. And then I'm gonna hit Control Shift R. So some people say that doesn't work for them. What that did is it just fit. It fit to the design. So when you're finished with your design, that's when you want to hit Control Shift R to trim the image directly to the edges. And it does it so much better than you can do manually. And basically what it is, as you saw me just open up File Document Properties, it's literally just this button right here, Resize to Content. Control Shift R is just a shortcut for that. And now I can hit the minus key on my keyboard and zoom out and look at my final design. Now let's choose color. So we're just going to come over here. If you don't have this fill and stroke panel, I think it's under object, object fill and stroke. Okay. And so now we're just going to choose a color. I'm not going to be real picky about this. I'm just going to pick a color that I think looks nice. And so there's a color that I've chosen. If I want to go black, you know, I'm just going to throw all the way to the left. And if I want to go white, I'm going to go all the way to the right. And I don't want those. I'm going to go back to my color that I chose. Oh, I've lost it. No big deal. Let's find it again. There's a color. Okay, happy with that. All right, now I'm not just gonna save. I need to convert this to a path. I can't guarantee that the team at 143 Vinyl is going to have this font. It's not likely. I just found a random font and downloaded it. So I need to convert it to a path so that it doesn't, you know, mess up on their system, essentially. You know, so what I'm going to do, oh, actually, let's make this more interesting. <laughs> I can't help myself. Let's just make that a little taller. Yep, let's hit Control Shift R on that. All right, so I'm just gonna convert this to a path and I'm just gonna do object to path. So it's Shift Control C, so path, object to path. And before I do that, I'll show you, over here, this is a text object. 
and it's defined by that little T symbol right there. So when I change this to a path, you're going to see a difference. I'm just going to do path, object to path, and it's just changed to the little path symbol so you know it's a path now. And that hardens it. So it's no longer something I can select the text and type, but it is something that I can now edit if I chose to, and then I can choose my node editor and like drag things around if I wanted to, which could give it some like unique flair and be pretty cool. All right, so that's good. I'm gonna save this. Let's just save this as. I'm gonna save it right in my downloads folder and I'm gonna call it 143 Vinyl Websites. Awesome. All right, let's save that. And now let's go up to the layout designer. So I'm just gonna to go to 143vinyl.com and the custom DTF prints, which you can get to just by going to DTF and then go to the, nope, I want UV DTF decals. Gosh, I get so ahead of myself. I want UV DTF decals. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm putting this on the back of a car, like on a glass window uh, to advertise my business, okay? So I, I'm just gonna choose the layout designer and then I'm going to uh, open up my image. So normally I would select the size first, but I'm just kind of showing you that you can do this either way. All right, so there's my image, and I know I want to rotate this. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees, and I'm just going to stick it over here in the corner. It's a little off the page, but I'm going to switch to five foot, and now it's not off the page. You know, it's, it's, it's taken up, uh, I've got plenty of more space. So she told me she wanted to make it 36 inches. Different ways you could do this. You can literally just line it up, make sure it's not off the edge, you know, close enough is close enough, and then just go and stretch it out. And I'm gonna stretch it out to 36 inches. So I'm just looking at the rulers on the side there. Now it expands both directions. So I've got to adjust it, you know, and one way that I could avoid that, let's just start over real quick. And that's always a great option if you get if you get start struggling with something, just start over. Let's change it to a five foot. There's different ways you can rotate things. So I'm just gonna rotate it like this, and that rotated it exactly to 90 degrees. So I'm just spinning it around there, okay? And then I'm just gonna type in the size. So I'm gonna say size, I want, hmm, 36, okay. So let's see, and I'm just gonna have to check the ruler because I'm, I'm always a little nervous when they're rotated for some reason, I just, I know too much. Yeah, that's 36. Awesome. And then I can fill in all the rest of this space. So I could literally make, you know, multiples of this same design. I can just click duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. And now I'm getting four of them for $42. So they're costing me like 10 bucks a piece, just a little bit more, $10 and 50 cents. And I've still got all this space that I can use. And so I'm just gonna name it. I'm gonna call it 143 Vinyl Website and save it. I'm not gonna waste your all's time by watching me add more stuff to it. You know, it's just fine. I'm getting a great value right here. And then I just add to cart and I can go to checkout. And that's it. Hey, I hope this was helpful. We chose a font. We used Inkscape to type it. We chose a color. We converted it to a path. We saved it as an SVG and we uploaded it straight to the layout designer. And because it's an SVG, we know that it's going to be perfect quality. In fact, you can see that right here. All right, again, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching my videos and thanks for buying your DTF and UV DTF decals at 143vinyl.com. Take care.